This video introduces Scribner back pressure units for fuel cell testing. The back pressure units are specifically designed to work with Scribner's line of fuel cell test systems, including the 840, 850, 855, and 890 instruments. Back pressure units are used so that a fuel cell can be evaluated under real-world operating conditions. For example, the operating air pressure in an automotive fuel cell stack may be 2.5 bar. System design requires characterization of fuel cell performance at that gas pressure. Increased operating pressure generally improves fuel cell performance due to increased reactant concentration. Increased reactant concentration, in particular on the air electrode, results in decreased mass transport losses and therefore improved high current performance. Scribner offers two different back pressure units, the standard manual back pressure unit and the automated back pressure unit. Each back pressure unit includes independent, all stainless steel anode and cathode gas flow paths and water condensate collection tanks with sight glass and drain valve. Precision back pressure regulators and large dial indicators allow precise control of the operating gas pressure. Back pressure units are rated for 3 bar or 45 pounds per square inch gauge pressure. The standard back pressure unit is designed for single cell testing under common flow and dew point conditions. The standard back pressure unit is an economical accessory commonly used with 850 fuel cell test systems to simulate real world operating conditions. The standard back pressure unit is manual. Pressure is increased or decreased by manually adjusting the back pressure regulator setting. The pressure is indicated on the large dial gauges. With manual back pressure units, the actual operating pressure is not recorded in the fuel cell data files, as it is with the automated back pressure unit. When increasing pressure, remember that it can take time to build up pressure in the system. Increasing the gas flow rate during the pressurization process will accelerate the rate at which the pressure increases. The automated back pressure unit permits hands-free pressure control. The anode and cathode pressure are independently set and controlled through fuel cell, Scribner's fuel cell test system application software. The automated back pressure unit also has the advantage of the operating pressure being included in the data set. The automated back pressure unit is also designed for higher gas flow rate and high dew point testing. The auto BP unit includes fans and radiators for forced air cooling of the humidified gas exiting the fuel cell. Forced air cooling ensures that even high flow rate and high dew point gases are cooled to room temperature before exiting the unit. Cooling the humidified gas to ambient temperature ensures that all the water vapor is knocked out of the gas before being vented. The most important consideration when setting up a back pressure unit is that the inlet of the back pressure unit should be lower than the outlet of the fuel cell. Locating the back pressure inlets below the fuel cell outlet will prevent water slugs from forming in the tubing connecting the fuel cell and back pressure unit. Water slugs cause pressure fluctuations which may cause instability or noise in the fuel cell's performance. For example, a standard back pressure unit can be mounted underneath the bench below the fuel cell test system. The automated back pressure unit is designed to be floor standing such that the inlet ports are below the outlet of the fuel cell that is located on a lab bench. 